Hi guys, uh, so I am Amit Vipuri and uh, I would like to introduce my firm called Design Studio. We are based out of Vizag, founded in about 2006 uh, and we are a strong team of 25 doing projects all over the country now. So today I am going to be talking about uh, my project uh, very close to my heart called uh, Felicitas. It's a villa that we've done over a three and a half acre uh, land in Goa and uh, it's on a beautiful terrain and surrounded by uh, nature and we're doing this for Let's Build With Home Videos. Felicitas is a project that is based on a, a three and a half acre land, like I said, and it's got this beautiful winding pathway once you land up uh, at the hill. And right on top of the hill was perched when we went to the site. We were aghast to see this one little bed and breakfast, which was a 16 bedroom bed and breakfast that was already existing at the site and uh, surrounded by nature. But at the same time, the design was such that it was completely inward looking. Uh, so what we saw of the place and the first thing that I actually told the client was we need to connect all the spaces together. So we had uh, different blocks where we took a water body that started from the top of the hill and then went on to the central portion. You've seen the pictures and the video that we've created and uh, then culminates ultimately into a small waterfall that goes into the swimming pool and then overflows again. So this idea of the water body was something that I gave the client on the spot when we met for the first time. And I think after that his only brief was to keep it really simple and really sleek, minimal lines. He didn't want it to look like it belonged to a Goa or a Miami for instance. It could be anywhere in the world, that's what he wanted to uh, feel and that was the kind of finishes and uh, things that the place demanded also. Uh, also that would be very easy on you know, maintenance because it was his holiday home. So this is a view again from so where you see the actual full connectivity of the water body from here right going all the way down to the center, down the steps, onto the pool and overflowing again. So that's the major connecting factor between the entire space that's built on this beautiful terrain. When it comes to the space, the space actually built up is about uh, the interior air conditioned space as you would call it. It's about 12,000 square feet. The decks outside the balconies and the pathways that connect everything together are another 12,000 square feet. So it's totally about 24 to 25,000 square feet of uh, uh, concrete floor, uh, so to speak. The rest of it is all softened out with uh, lawns and landscape. Uh, so this was a collaboration project between uh, uh, an architect called Jitain Adiramani and uh, our landscapist Soumya. And uh, so both, all three of us sort of made a really great team I think on this project to be able to pull this together. So what you're looking at here is an aerial view of the project. The space actually encompasses about uh, six bedrooms. We have uh, three living areas. We've got three very different kind of dining areas, which is probably my most favorite part uh, of the space. And of course, that major uh, connectivity between the water bodies is what really excites me the most. But uh, we also have a gym, a home theater, um, an office also for the client to be using whenever he needs.
move into uh, the space and the installations in the center, the art installations that you see also over here, uh, very thoughtfully planned out. This is a close up view, these are stainless steel cubes that we put together by a company called uh, Form Forge, and they've scattered it across this uh, beautiful star galaxy uh, stone wall. And uh, I think the play of light that it has when you're there and in the site with the water and the lighting and the stainless steel reflective surfaces just makes it look mind blowing at night, especially. The rooms, very, very simple, very basic. Um, the colors that we've used over here are that of mahogany, the gray, the, all the walls, if you see, also are clad. The floors are also an engineered wood, and the ceilings also are the same engineered wood so that they sort of connect. And we don't have too many different materials happening. There is that little bit of pop of color that you can see everywhere. But uh, you know, like maybe it's just in the furniture or in the little bit of art that we have that adds that little fun tone to the space. But essentially, the colors are very really muted and all uh, in the same family. So even if we've used different kinds of tiles from the exterior or from the interior, uh, different colors, they've all been shades of grey and uh, mahogany only. Um, so it just sort of forms like a beautiful uh, space for each time, every night that the client is there, they can actually enjoy a different space. And that was the whole fun of this uh, project, you know, creating different spaces where you could really just have fun in every little space. Not really meant to be um, too much of that residential home kind of feel, but a space where you can, you know, it changes by day, it changes by night, and you can enjoy it any time. So the obstacles I think we faced was the site itself because it was on such a giant terrain that the kind of work that we had to do, the workers there uh, and the Goa rains was something that sort of held us back for two seasons at a time. Uh, even through all of that we still finished the project in about a year and a half where you, cut, where you can cut off six months so essentially there was six months of rain essentially and then where you cut off uh, that timing so maybe about 12 months exactly is how long it took us to convert the entire existing space into this uh, modern look that you see today. Uh, other than that we really had no obstacles because we had a, a great rapport with the client and we were uh, also very hands on with the project. I was in Goa every three weeks. My team was there uh, for almost two weeks every month.